What if a single car almost toppled the company that promised to save the world from oil? The Tesla Model 3, unveiled March 31, 2016, was meant to be Elon Musk's democratic electric, affordable, high volume, and the company's path to profitability. Instead, it ignited a two-year gauntlet. Deliveries began July 28, 2017, but production quickly became a labeled crisis. Production hell, Musk admitted, as automated lines jammed, battery pack bottlenecks emerged at Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, and final assembly at the Fremont factory couldn't keep pace. Weeks became months of missed targets. Tesla aimed for mass output and instead encountered a cash-draining backlog, severe quality rework, and frenetic all-hands problem-solving. Musk spent nights on the factory floor. Engineers improvised manual workarounds and retooled robotic stations. He later said excessive automation had been a mistake. The company repeatedly warned investors about liquidity risks in regulatory filings and leaned on intense capital markets access to stay afloat. The pivot to survive was operational grit, simplifying bottleneck processes, rebalancing automation with human labor, and optimizing battery pack assembly and final line workflows. In mid-2018, Tesla announced it had reached a production milestone, roughly 5,000 Model 3s per week, a turning point that began to alleviate the backlog and stabilize cash flow. That manufacturing rescue allowed Tesla to scale fund Gigafactory expansion, and transition Model 3 into the company's flagship revenue stream. The near collapse left scars, investor skepticism, leadership scrutiny, and hard lessons about automation, supply chains, and cash buffers. Ultimately, the Model 3 saga is a study in invention under pressure, a reminder that visionary products still require ruthless operational execution and that survival often depends on the people willing to sleep at the factory until the line runs true. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.